Welcome back everybody to the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Luck Lock. I hope you guys are doing well today. We have got a lot to do. In the last episode, we did secure our next gym badge. We also took down Team Magma with the help of Steven. And in today's episode, we actually, I believe, I have, we're, we're going to the Seafloor Cavern, which I believe is Team Aqua's kind of whole deal. So I think we're going to take care of them as well. We'll see how that goes, though, because honestly, I, it's been a while since we've played these games. So <laughs> it's all, it's all going to be a little bit refreshing uh, to, to go through this. Now, uh, as far as the question of the day for today, guys, I want to ask you, in light of our newest member, Cherry, uh, who we have trained up to level 42, uh, I would like to know... What's your favorite ghost type Pokemon? Just in general, it doesn't have to be a particular generation. Just let me know, what's your favorite ghost type Pokemon? Uh, Dusclops is not up there for me. However, I do really like Dusclops and Dusk Noir is very, very good. So very excited to try this one out. Uh, we did get uh, Cherry leveled up to level 42. It learns Shadow Punch as well as Will-O-Wisp uh, in addition to the already uh, Astonish and Pursuit set that it had. So definitely a bit more of a techie mon. It's not necessarily like I don't know I don't think it's necessarily the best ghost type by any means it definitely isn't but uh, it's cool it's cool I'm into it <clears throat> let's uh let's go ahead and see who can learn dive hopefully somebody uh, Nagy can I think Nagy is about to learn dive that's great actually uh, let's see it's only 60 but I'm okay with that half the damage for 20 20 more accuracy uh, is very, very good. So I am cool with that. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and go down here. And I think, I mean, we'll, we'll see how things go, but we will obviously get a new encounter on a route down here. And in fact, we're on that route now. Uh, so let's see who we have out front. Let's get, <laughs> whoops, let's, uh, I think we're gonna just use, yeah, let's, let's go here. All right. And let's see what we get. Uh, very happy to grab a new encounter here, and it's a quillfish. <laughs> I mean, it's a new Pokemon. We'll certainly try and catch it, but it's not the best, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know. Let's just see if tackle. <laughs> if I kill it, I kill it. Um, I mean... All right, we got a crit. We killed it. It's fine. Uh, we have so many water types, guys. I would really love, like, really anything other than a water type. <laughs> uh, I think... Can we just use dive here and get there? We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I didn't... That's not... That's annoying. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go back. Underwater. So this technically is a new area. Huh. Okay, so if we find some underwater patches of grass, we actually do get a new encounter, which is pretty cool. <laughs> More underwater. <laughs> All right. I don't remember. I think it's just down to the south. I think it's down this way. Sorry, by the way, guys, I do have some allergies going on, as you can tell. A little frustrating, but it's fine. Must have gone ashore here. The light is filtering down from above. I would love to go up. All right, so we may have to come back and grab an encounter there. Uh, Seafloor Cavern, do we get... Can we get an encounter here? No, maybe? Uh, let's do this really quick also. We did grab the super rod in the last episode, so let's see if we can actually fish here. That would be awesome. We super can. All right, that's awesome. Uh, let's see if we can get a get a little Pokemon here. That would be excellent. Oh, a bite. Ooh, have to be on it. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, I'm having to concentrate. <laughs> All right, we got a Pokemon. Let's see what we get. A Gorbis. Again, another water type. Why do we have so many water types? Will a tackle kill you? If it does, it does. No, not even close. Uh, all right, we're gonna risk the crit and go for it again. All right, cool. Wow, it knows confusion? That's actually really sick uh, and bad for Ruth, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep powder. 
And again, guys, we get one opportunity to catch this thing. So let's do the best we can. Hopefully this is enough. <clears throat> we did pick up some Ultra Balls, so we should be okay. Like, I think our chances are relatively high. It's an Asleep Gorbis level 20 in the red. Come on, one, two, three. Boom, did it. Awesome. I mean, it's a new Pokemon, right? Like we've got, like I said, we've got a lot of water types in the box, uh, which isn't ideal, but Gorbis is actually a really cool Pokemon in my opinion, uh, as well as Huntail. I like both of them quite a bit. Uh, it's a male Ariel and that's fine. Um, I love that. That's very cool. All right, sick. Let's, uh, who do we want to throw out? Let's get Powerball up a little bit here. All right. I did look at potentially, um, yeah, we'll use strength. I, I did potentially look at changing up the team a little bit, but I thought it best not to right now. We've done a really good job with the team we have. And truthfully, no matter what we do, I think we're gonna be duplicating some amount of typing. Uh, and so it's really not worth the effort to, to change everything around just because you know, we're gonna get the same thing anyway. Is this a new encounter? I think it's all just the seafloor cavern. So yeah, it's just different rooms in the seafloor cavern. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. I do not know my way around this area. I should super repel, which thankfully we've got some, so that'll be good. Uh, I could spark you, not even gonna worry about it. All right, let's super repel. Uh, again, not sure the way to go, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little sneaky. All right, sick. <laughs> All right, uh, again, I have no clue. Um, sure, I'll push a boulder out of the way. Thank you for just being super repels are a thing. That's phenomenal. I'd love to use Rock Smash. Why wouldn't I? All right, I have no clue. I do have a map pulled up just to like have some idea of where I'm going, but I don't really know. <laughs> We're just gonna kind of wing it. All right. Boop, boop. Like I have to imagine. Yeah, okay, so we need to go here. I have music playing in my ear and it's a delight, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All these strength boulders are just kind of annoying, really. Um, we'll go this way and see what's over here. Oh, this is the freaking weird thing. Is this where I need to be? Uh... Again, guys, I do have this pulled up just because I got no clue what to do. All right. I think we need to get to the cave in the center, if I had to guess. Or no, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need to get to the cave in the center. Um, okay, but that way is also not helpful. So this is so annoying to look at. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This is gonna be most of the episode is me figuring out where to go. <laughs> All right, so we know that's not a good way. So I think we have to go here. Let's try this. Oh, cool, that worked. <laughs> okay, that's bad, bad way. Do we need to go here? Yeah. Hey, let's use another repel. Repels, I wish they would auto use in this one as well. Like there's a, I think there's, yes, this is the right place, question mark. Um, we're just gonna double battle, right? Um, there is, I believe in the next generation in Gen 4, they did the thing where it's like, hey, you used up your super repel, do you wanna use another? And it's like, well, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> All right. We got a double battle here, guys. I like it. Let's take him out. This is a big one, too. 
Raichu and Victory Bell. Very good. All right. Um, I mean, light screen actually seems pretty good, so I'm going to light screen. Um, we'll shadow punch you. I don't know who I'm more afraid of, technically, but Raichu seems a little scarier, I guess. Uh, truthfully, we should just swap out, but I figured we'd at least get light screen up just to be able to kind of shield ourselves a little bit against some of these uh, special attacks, which I imagine will be coming at some point here. Okay, Shadow Punch did a good bit. Well, that's fantastic. Um, all right, let's swap you with Spitfire. And we'll try and take out Raichu at least. I'm not gonna write you a love song. Uh, classic joke. All right, <laughs> Vine Whip thankfully isn't gonna do very much and get the burn. Fantastic, absolutely love that. And the Shadow Punch goes off, that's actually huge. That means Raichu is down, Victory Bell is basically not going to do anything, and Cherry's going to get a lot of XP, which is great. Uh, that's less great. <sighs> hmm. Well, we have a decision to make. <laughs> do we risk it? Uh, the burn is coming through. I'm going to. This is probably a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to try and Willow the, the Gyarados. We've got Light Screen up. Uh, so if it goes for a water type move, I'm really not that concerned, even though it will be super effective. But additionally, if it goes for a physical move and we got it, well, it, we're going to go last, aren't we? Oh, it bites. OK, uh, that's kind of OK. We missed. That was less than OK. Let's flamethrower you for sure. Uh, what do we have to deal with this? I guess Powerball is great. Yeah, Powerball Spark. I mean, that will that should just one-shot this Gyarados, no problem at all. Uh, Sneasel's definitely going down, that was easy. And yeah, that's very good. <clears throat> and it just bites again. Seeing the Dusclops as the threat is really interesting. Um, we'll Flamethrower, but I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> and there we go. Excellent. We did it. We did it. Fantastic. All right. Haha. -ha. <laughs> that was a pretty good du little double battle there. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see. We have a couple super potions. Probably need to stock up on some super potions at some point here, but we're okay at the moment. Uh, do we have... It's confusion. Um, I don't think we have a heal for Paralyze, do we? No. All right. So, uh, we're, we're good with the order, though. Oh, this is the stupid puzzle. Ugh. All right. Okay, so... I have to remember how to do this. Uh... Oh, I don't remember everything. All right, let's do this. I'm just going to get these little guys out of the way. I don't think this worked. Did it? Freaking crap. Already messed it up. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, all right. I have no idea, I'll be honest. Um, I think this works. Haha! -ha! I bested you, you silly puzzle. All right, sick. There we are, guys, at the seafloor cavern. And we found smog, which is less than helpful. I think that's normally earthquake, <laughs> which is like obviously way better. <laughs> Let's run down here. Ooh, hello, Mr. Kyogre. Hold it right there. All right, guys, I think we're battling Archie right now, which is a pretty big battle. All right, 
Let's do it. Here we go. Uh, no idea what the level is going to be on this, so this could be a little scary. Um, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. A relic amp. Uh, Powerball is fine against this, actually. Should be able to. Man, that thing is bulky AF. All right, it's fine. It's totally fine. Of course you have a super potion. Why wouldn't you have a super potion? Uh, it doesn't matter. It should just die. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're good. Oh my gosh, it's... Oh, it weakened electricity, didn't it? Duh. Of course it did. All right. That's one Pokemon down. I like it. Cherry grabbing a level. I also like it. Hariyama. Uh, let's go Rufus. We can psychic this thing. Thank goodness Rufus actually has a psychic type move now. That's like hugely helpful. More than you possibly could understand, that's helpful. All right, psychic this thing, that should take it out. There's no way this lives. Seriously, we are not as strong as I thought we were. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna, it has a su yeah, super potion, that's fine. Psychic should definitely work now. Uh, no doubt about it. Easy kill. I think it was one more Pokemon. I think. A Zatu. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we have a Zatu. Or we had a Zatu. We had a Zatu. Oh, that was really sad, actually. We lost. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the Sapphire, hardcore Sapphire Nuzlocke, we were doing so well. We hadn't lost a single Pokemon for the entire up till gym badge five we were at gym badge five we were fighting our dad and freaking nor or uh what's his name i don't even know our dad uh basically just annihilated half of our team and it felt really bad including a zatu named max who i loved dearly <laughs> i command you i must recognize that you are truly gifted but i have this in my possession the red orb i can make kyogre suddenly began shining by itself. Boom. I love this little like color effect. They did it with Groudon too. I thought that was really cool. All right. <laughs> Kyogre just straight flew. It didn't do anything. Why did the red orb, where did it go? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily. Good, that should have happened. So I'll be waking Kyogre. It's raining harder than we envisioned. You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. What? <laughs> World downpour. Oh my gosh. We're all going to drown. Um, it's the great flood. As long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if you've uh, done all this crap. Come on. You have to get out of here too. Cool. Thank you for saving us from having to do all this. Uh, did I make a horrible mistake? Yeah, you totally did. I only wanted... Do you understand now? Do you finally see the disastrous... How disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Lucky, don't say anything. I know that I've... No, I have no right to be a critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by, neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief, this super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. They sure have. Guys, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. Oh, Steven's here too. I was going to say, this feels like a really good thematic place to end the episode, so we'll get through this dialogue, but I think, I think this is a good start. All right. I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. I'm going to Sutopolis. I hope I said Sutopolis correctly. Guys, I think we will end it right here. We've got a lot we can do in the next episode, and I'm really excited about it because we're getting to the point where this is the this is the big moment in the game, the climax of the story, if you will. I'm really excited about it, guys. So definitely stay tuned this Saturday for the next episode of The Luck Lock. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. Don't forget to answer that comment question 
of the day. Let me know where you like to go on vacation. Wait, what was the what was the comment question? Your favorite ghost type. I was mixing it up with the previous one. Love you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again soon.